Hello, this is Mrs. Pagelia, and I'm going to help teach you how to evacuate from my classroom in A42, located right about here. Step one, we line up. I like to have the boys line up in one line against the wall or the left side of the doorway, and then the girls are against the front of the room, and that's to the right side. Please one student is going to grab the big sign, which has my name on it in classroom, that's two colors, red and green, and it will be held up outside once we get to our destination. The whole class is going to do this quickly and fast. Oh, I meant quietly and fast. Step two, walking out of the room in two by twos, you're going to walk to the right towards the library. The last person out of the door room needs to turn off the lights and close the door. Do not lock the door. Make sure the door lock, the preventing it from closing, is flipped down so the door does not lock. But it does need to be closed. The first person in line should check the door, the fire door, to make sure that the passage is safe. Make sure that you use the back of your hand to test the fire doors. Watch the video to see a sample of my expectations. Okay. So again, what if the person that gets to the door and they tested it, it said it's hot? Well, we do not continue down that route, but we're going to take an alternative route. Our alternative route goes this direction. And then we can still continue to where we're going. We go down the sixth grade hallway and out those doors. Step three, we're gonna go through the doors of the library with your class across the yard to the pine tree across the driveway. Please stay together in two rows, single file, one row of boys, one row of gold, girls. I'm able to keep track of who and where my class is at because we stay together in that organization. Absolutely, this is not a time to be talking with your friend. We are walking, we're not talking. Again, we're going to go down the walkway, across the parking lot, and we're going to get together with the last pine tree on the right-hand side. Again, facing away from the school. Here we go. We're going down the path. You'll see on your right side is C building. On your left side was B building. We cross the parking lot. And there is our tree of destination. We line up about here on the tree. If there is another class in this area, we will line up over here or beside them. But we stay lined up in two rows, one of girls, one of boys. You also should remain quiet. I have to take attendance. And it's where in the meantime, if you're not quiet, it's hard to do that. Also, you are to stay facing the soccer field. You're not to be turning around. When it's all clear or when we're all there, one student will hold up the sign. The green side means that we're all good, everybody's with us. The red side means that we're missing somebody. In the meantime, the teacher is connecting with the other teachers around who have the radio, who is talking to the staff in charge. If we get a all clear, we're going to turn around, single file, walk back to class. There should not be a need to run and jump and push and holler. Do not pick up pine cones and try and throw them. Do not pick up snowballs and try and throw them if it's during winter. In the meantime, we return in reverse order. 
the parking lot, sidewalks, doors by the library, door, doorway into the sixth grade hall, and into the classroom back into your seat, sitting quietly and working on something. AR books, your assignment that you stopped in the middle of, something. But you're sitting and you're waiting quietly. So here it is, our reverse trip. Okay, so to sum it up, I have taught you two, well, shown you one route, the primary route that you will go out. Again, these four classrooms right here will go this direction. Sometimes students get confused and try and go the normal way for sixth grade, like Mr. Anderson's class might unless the door is not safe to go through we go to the right if for some reason it is not safe to go through we will travel down the hall and out the building if you happen to be in any other sixth grade classroom you will go down the hall okay like if you're in any of these other classrooms here. But instead of going towards the pine tree across the parking lot, you will go out and into the grassy area by the big rock. That's where the rest of the sixth grade gathers. If for some reason you get separated and you are went to the restrooms, continue evacuating the rest of the sixth grade way. They will communicate with the other teachers and we will make sure that you are accounted for. If you're in the office area, as well, evacuate with the office building and they will also account for your whereabouts. So, sum it up. Which direction do you go? To the right. Correct. Good job.